Holy wow. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hi. Um, <laughs> um, my name is Alexis. I wanted to ask you a question last year. I went to uh, your retreat at Omega. Um, oh, yeah. So I guess I've been like hanging on to this question for a while. <laughs> um, first of all, your book, um, The Power of Now, it saved my life. So thank you. Oh, um, I was planning on committing suicide until I read it. <laughs> um, I have a severe mental illness, uh, type 1 bipolar disorder. I've suffered from it since I was 15. And I've only just um, started getting treatment. Um, so I, uh, I'm medicated now, I guess. <laughs> and even though suffering from bipolar, unmedicated was hellish, there was a certain component of presence to it in its own way, just that intensity of emotion and feeling all the time. And uh, I've just really been struggling since, uh, since being on medication with accessing that same sort of abruptness of being. <laughs> um, and I know that I, I don't really have a choice because otherwise I'll be hallucinating in things, but um, I don't know. I was wondering if you might offer any insight. When did you... Uh, so the power of now help, helped you greatly when you read it. So yes. that was... And then um, you were free of medication for quite a while. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for... I guess I was untreated for like seven years before... Um, and then the point was reached where you did need it? No, no, then I, um, until when I did need it or didn't need it? Yes, how long have you been on medication? Oh, um, only a few months actually, I ah. guess, uh, coming up on a year. What was the reason for then for going on medication? Um, I fell in love <laughs> and I realized that I couldn't um, be sick and also uh, be present for my partner. Right. I have, I have, so bipolar is what your, uh, your condition? Yes, type yeah. 1 bipolar. Yeah. I've only had uh, some contact with perhaps milder cases, I don't know, of bipolar disorder. Often, the, uh, 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 can you explain just very briefly, maybe in just a couple of sentences, what, what, Exactly, you experience when the the condition arises. How sure. Do you... um, so sufferers of bipolar uh, usually experience two different types of phases: a yes. manic phase and a depressive phase. Yes. People often confuse it confuse it with like a multiple personality disorder, but yes. it's actually quite different. Um, you're the same person, but just sometimes you can't move <laughs> or get out of bed or do anything and sometimes you can't sleep for days on end and you are seeing things that aren't there and hallucinating and running around like and so it's you, uh, you do uh, strange things then in yes, the, yes yeah so um and you can't when you're in one state you can't ever remember the other so when you are depressed it seems like you're going to feel that way forever but then it could be two days from then you are back up and manic. So I, um, there are many kinds of bipolar disorder, but I suffer from a rapid cycle type, which means that I have um, like four to six times more cycles than the average person. Right. Uh, with the milder forms of bipolar, it's sometimes possible for people to remain aware in the, both the cycles when they come, so that you don't get talk taken over completely by the cycles, so that an awareness remains so that you're not totally identified with the energy that arises. Uh, I don't know, how is the, do you, are you able to be present with the medication? Um, no. Yeah, I think that it provides me, it, it gives me a bit more space to reflect on when I am actually in a cycle, but it, it's very dulling, um, so 
being present doesn't have that sort of joy. It's harder to, it takes much longer to look at something. I mean, I, I used to be able to just like sit next to trees and have conversations with them and it was wonderful. And now, that it, I mean, I'm getting used to it, but it's, um, it's more difficult. Yes. Well, do you have a meditation practice? Um, I try. <laughs> yeah. I think it would be good for you to have a practice of formal meditation every day that could eventually replace the medication, but you have to be very careful, of course, and get some professional help. Hopefully a physician who has some awareness of the other, the deeper dimension, who can help you to gradually get off medication. And I believe that a structured meditation, which is not for everybody, I don't necessarily recommend structured meditation for everybody. It's a wonderful thing for those who feel compelled, who feel, feel they want to do it. Who are, but I think for you it is a necessity. Uh, and that could provide the support in consciousness that you need to eventually become free of medication. Uh, what type of meditation you'll have to, you may have to try out one or two uh, meditation methods. If you, I don't know if you already have done that. Perhaps transcendental meditation might be good for you. Um, okay. <laughs> so how do you feel right now? Um, a lot better. <laughs> now, are you at any particular cycle of now, or are you in a neutral space now? Just um, to... No, I'm actually in one of my longest lasting neutral phases ever. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. Of course, in the neutral phase, then the, 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 the real you shines through, as it does right now, so, and that's wonderful. So I believe being here also has helped because here, but just by having been here, presence power has grown. And that's really what you need because if presence power in you, so to speak, is strong enough, it can be the place in which you can be anchored when these two movements come. You need a deep anchor within yourself because these two, the two movements have an enormous pull, as you know. And without the anchor, there's no hope of you. you they pull you every time this way or that way. But the, the presence should become strong enough in you and maybe very soon for you to not need the medication anymore. But you don't do it, always do, do it with guidance. Don't just go, don't just go off. And you may be surprised uh, how deep your presence already is. So I do hope We'll have another retreat in a year's time or so, and you will come back and let us know how you're doing. That would be amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> this mind made sense of self is also much more focused on the negative than the positive. To be free, you awaken to who you are beyond your history and your life situation.